I don't get it, mate. One minute she's a dead good laugh, and the mm. next she's doing this whole I'm a lady thing. Yeah, I blame chip flicks. That's the problem, you know? Honestly, the way she was going on, you'd think I'd robbed the house or something. It's like our Debbie's swanning off on this girls' week. What? You know, there used to be a time when you could take a bird to the pub, buy a few drinks, Bob's your uncle, you ask your mum. No, I'd rather not, thanks. No, on second thoughts, don't ask your mum. I bet she's got a bit of class when it comes to blokes. Nah, I wouldn't know. Never seen her with one. What, never? Well, not... There was one time, but I had to keep answering the phone and pretending she wasn't in. Right, uh, yeah, the, uh, treat of me and keeping keen. Nah, nah, she's a... She's a bit more upfront than that. If, if, if my mum treats you mean, it's cos she just plain doesn't like you. Oh, right, that's interesting. I'm not being funny, mate, but can we talk about something else? Cars or something? Love, how's your mother? She's still got that thyroid. Oh, for, 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 listen, have a word, will you, about this? It's out of order, this, isn't it? Oh, I think you look very fetching. Oh, there's a first. You should wear blue more often, it suits you. Uh, right then. McCain's been asking questions about you at work again. Well, I seem to be his number one topic of conversation. Yeah. Next to picking up sports cars at auctions. No, you're right, you are top of the list. But you won't be if you keep blowing hot and cold. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm comfortable getting advice on my love life from my son. Good, cos I... Definitely don't want to go there. <coughs> I'm just saying he likes to know where he stands. That's all. Well, keep him guessing. Hey, up. Ready for more drinks? No, not for me. I'm going to go and finish that engine. Either he's dead keen, or he wants us to spend more time together. She doesn't know what she's taking on. You think she'd just pack it in? Oh. Same again for Faye. Pipe for me. And whenever you and your old man are having. We're supposed to be going out to Scotland, playing golf with some old chums up at St Andrews. Well, enjoy. Mm. But I was wondering if I should cancel. Why would you want to do that? Well, your mother's still worrying about Nathan. Oh, not anymore. We got another text from him this morning. It's fine. Another? No one told me. I suppose he's still angry with me. Let's just say it might be better if you're in Scotland when he gets back. Oh, but if you wanted to get into his good books, he did say he was a little bit short on cash. Put some money in my account and I can make sure he gets it. My factory job starts tomorrow, so this might be my last free afternoon for a while. Oh? Got any plans? Oh, I'm, um, sure we could think of something. But, um... <clears throat> Why don't we uh, get another ring first? Your round. Same again? You have the box. Alice May, sweetheart. How are you doing? Fancy a drink this afternoon? Yeah, well, I'm sitting here right now. I'll see you in a bit. Can't wait. Just another disaster waiting to happen. Any chance of a coffee? Okay, yeah, definitely. Especially, actually, if you can cheer my mate Paddy up. What would it take? Well, he's, you know, he's a bit down because Chaz dumped him and uh, he just needs to know that women still find him attractive. There's a lot to be said for personality. I'm just going to throw myself off the viaduct. Thanks. Shall we go? I'm afraid there's been a change of plan of meeting an old friend. Oh, there she is. Hello. Glad you could make it. Always there for you. This is uh, Faye, the mum of one of my mechanics. I'm, um, pleased to meet you. You sure about that? You like a drink? Usual. What about you, Faye? Oh, not for me. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Never better. Hey up. I warned you what he was like, didn't I? Not to be trusted. Same as all men. Yeah. Maybe it's not all his fault. What do you mean? Well, maybe he's under the impression that you're, you're not yet over Mark. 
Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course I am. Glad to hear it, because he's bad news. I thought we were discussing Kane. No, we are. We are. And I'll tell you what, he's a lot easier to understand as well. He just doesn't like playing second fiddle. So look, why don't the two of you just stop playing games and give it a real go? Who knows, you might even be good together. <laughs>